Hi guys, it's me again. I'm just outside just to enjoy the cooler weather we've been having. Um, it's This is the last of the, the warm days for a while. Uh, right now, I think today out here it's about uh, 24 degrees and uh, tomorrow will be about a high of 21. So today was a thought would be a good time to come on outside again and give this another try. Uh, me and Lumi, as you remember, we did this video out here uh, when she announced the winner. And I, first of all, I wanted to apologize that the, uh, the video came out kind of lousy. This time I did not use the enemy. I did not use the fancy software. I used the one that was built into the phone. And um, anyway, so today we're going to be talking briefly about false economy. Um, what I mean by false economy is that sometimes we buy things in the stores and we're going to save money, only to find out or dismay that we end up costing us more in time, effort, labor, or whatever. Um, let me give you an example here. I bought a, uh, for my computer printer, a continuous ink system. Um, I was thinking, oh, well, big bottles of ink, great. That means I just have to worry about keeping the reservoirs filled and go to work. <sighs> it didn't work that way. <laughs> I got ink from head to toe because something in my configuration didn't work right. And uh, ink just got everywhere. It wasn't flowing into the cartridge assemblies. And uh, so the $40 I spent for the system was basically... Uh, for the most part useless, although I was able to use some inks to refill a couple cartridges, I, um, I don't recommend it unless you need to get filthy. I mean, I followed the instructions, I did everything the video told me to do, but the problem was is it just didn't work for me. Um, go figure that one out. So there you have a false economy where you buy something thinking you're going to save money. But then when you realize how much it's costing you in aggravation, effort, time, labor, etc., uh, etc., et you realize it is not economically feasible. You're spending a lot of money on buying these special kits, and then how much is it going to cost? I mean, how much aggravation did you go through? How dirty are your fingers? Um, and here's a hint, the, the ink I bought, you really have to use pure chlorine bleach on your skin to get it off, but it's really, really nasty, and it, and it burns your flesh, and it's really kind of gross. So, um, and of course I got some ink in my hair, I think I got a little magenta in my hair, but that's okay. Um, at least it's near the, the roots anyway, so it's not like really noticeable, at least in the snapshots I took earlier. Um, but the point is, is it was a waste of money. So if you think that it would be cheaper to buy a continuous ink supply system for your printer, and if you've never installed one before. Now if you install one and you've had nothing but successful installations, then maybe for you it might work out. But for me it did not work out at all. It just was a mess and um, ink was there all over the house and it was in printing and it was, miss, it was making a mess of my printer mechanisms. Um, I tried it on two different ink jets and resulted in the same basic dismal failure on both. So, um, I think one of them had a failure because the cartridge itself was bad. <laughs> uh, so you can't really blame the CIS for that. That's another possibility. You might get the, you know, you might get a couple of bum, you know, bum cartridges now and then. So you can't do much about that. But anyway, that's that. So, um, the, I wanted to talk to you on another video. We're going to do another video after this one. Um, and, the, and the next video we're going to be doing, we'll be discussing uh, the camera gear that we're, we're going to be working on getting for the studio and the reason why we've chosen the equipment we've chosen. So, stay tuned for that video here at Snow Queen Palace.